we've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. Hi, we're John and Steph, and these are our sons, Eliki and Sevanaya. Our family lived and still runs a small business in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Our family has a dream, so we sold our stuff and packed our bags. We moved to a village in Fiji to start a new business venture. We are Waka family. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. What do you got here, Eliki? Oh. Oh, cool. Wow. What is that? Centipede. Millipede. What do you think? Oh, no, no, no. It's coming out clothing and tight. Good morning. You can see that I am wearing our Waka shirt. Good morning. Eliki, come here. Um, so what's going on? Oh, my gosh. Come here. Oh. So we've got these dropping again. So we're gonna try and get international sales up this week. You can take a look. Um, wow! This is why I'm not on all the blogs. Oh <laughs> we've got international sales going on. Um, we'll post all that information up to see if you guys, we can do the shipping um, to Australia, New Zealand, or anywhere else in the world if you guys would like. Uh, we also have hoodies coming in pretty soon. So those should be in a few weeks. Keep an eye out for that drop. Uh, this week's video is a little bit different. John was out doing a program with our friends Lara and Leone. Uh, it's just all about sustainability um, from agriculture and forestry to oceans. Really cool how they brought different villages together. Take a look. That's why we are taking the youth from Ravi Ravi to take them to Wusaratu and show them that it's not late, you know, they can plant native trees to regain back their forest. And have a healthy forest, you have a healthy reef. Bolisia, my name is Leone Wokai. I'm from Mali Island, Lingolevu village from Madwat. And I've been selected as a facilitator for the Induavata Conservation Leadership Program. Pulisia, my name is Lara Meliki. I'm a director at Nukumbati Island Resort and Nukumbati is part of the Duavata Collective. Tomorrow is a big day for the Duavata Conservation Leadership Program which is Ravi Ravi Village going to Busaratu that is in Natel. If you don't know where Fiji is, we are a group of islands located in the South Pacific. And although we are many islands, we have two main islands. One is Viti Levu and the other is Vanu Levu. The journey from Nukumbati to Ravi Ravi is half an hour. So from Ravi Ravi to Nukumbati is another half an hour, that is one hour. And then from Nukumbati Landing to Sabu Sabu, that is two and a half hours, our road is not in a good condition. It's really bad. Tomorrow we're taking the bus. The reason is our road is really bad. Even the four-wheel drive, it will struggle to go in this road. So we choose the bus. It's higher and big tires. And that's the only choice we have. I'm 
Okay. We are in uh, Waisali, so we just have a short break. So we'll be talking to the landowner. They'll explain to us about uh, their reserve and um, all the species that they seen in this uh, reserve. And uh, after that, then we'll have a breakfast and we hit the road going to South South. I mean, look at this, it's covered in holes. That's because our Fiji insects know tavola. They say, ah, it's good to eat. So they eat lots of it. <laughs> so this tree is going to be always being fed on by Fiji insects. But if you take that, I don't know if you see the, you know the red African tulip tree? Yeah. It came here with no African insects to eat it. So that thing, if you leave that thing, it will take over the whole country. So that's why we, all the time, we're managing to try to keep out the invasive species. So here it's about 2,000 millimeters. Up on those hills where we were, the rain falls about 6,000 millimeters, six meters of rain. So another part of the program is taking the communities to Kokomana, which is a cocoa farm. the owner of Kokomana, Richard Markham, and how he set up the cocoa farm is he's practicing agroforestry sustainable farming. And so we're wanting to, again, showcase that to the community members in how they can 
possibly set up their plantations back at home because what we've um, noticed is that people are now clearing more of the rainforest for their plantations rather than trying to incorporate the rainforest into their plantation because we actually have found out that that's beneficial as rainforests provide natural shading, they provide nutrients in the soil and they also um, help with water, water retention. My role as a facilitator is challenging because to bring a community to another community it's really challenge. It challenges the way that you have to communicate with them. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many when the old ones gone on the night. You have to choose a right word. For them to go to another community, it's not about what the knowledge is passed through, like knowledge to knowledge. It's about their vanua, their land, their matangali, their yabusa. And this is the big impact in the community. When they leave the community to go to another community, they make sure that they are well known into the other community that this is how we look like in our community back home. That is a challenging part for us as a facilitator to bring a community to another community. and also just um, connect the rainforest to the reef um, and explain why the two habitats are so connected to each other. Um, and you can see Larger, they're, they're heavier, 
so the ropes on the floor now we want the, the ropes to be able to move freely so every every few weeks um, someone needs to come and tighten the ropes which is they're designed that can they can be easily yeah. tightened just so, simple simple knots They found that there's only butterfly that in Natewa that can't find anywhere else in this world. So only in Natewa, even in Fiji, that's only in Natewa you can find that butterfly. I am a farm manager here at uh, Kokomana. I've been working here since 2019, so going into my third year now. And uh, yes, I enjoy my uh, work here with Kokomana, and every day I learned uh, something new from uh, Richard. Uh, it has been uh, uh, keeping me um, interested in coming to work every day. It's been uh, really um, encouraging because um, all the knowledge that uh, Richard had taught me, uh, things that I never used to know, uh, I am uh, able to uh, explain it to uh, my fellow uh, brothers and sisters who are in a vulnerable level in my uh, native language and help them to understand a little bit about the sustainable agroforestry farming and um, intercropping and um, yeah, just sharing all those knowledge. to make this program a bit different we're not wanting to make it as your usual workshop that you hold in a community um, or having an outsider come and hold a workshop so we're wanting to give that to the communities to facilitate and to own and to share So we're back in uh, Ravi Ravi this morning, um, but yesterday we took Busaratu across to uh, Ravi Ravi. It was the Busaratu to Ravi Ravi. Actually. So we did exactly the same thing that um, Ravi Ravi did. So Busaratu went over to Kokomana to have an agroforestry session with Richard. And then they had a biodiversity session with him at Nasakawa, at his home. 
Um, we cancelled Waisali because uh, the landowner wasn't able to do his presentation but that just meant we were able to arrive into Ravi Ravi earlier than planned and enjoy the afternoon with them. Uh, this morning they're now going to go and see Ravi Ravi's Pearl Farm showroom um, and then later on we'll take them out to see the Pearl Farm which is out on the bay. Thank you.